Okay, so I just want to show you, I'm not getting paid for this review. I had an order. I paid for uh, seeds from a company called dollarseed.com. So as you can see, I mean, I ordered, I paid for everything. The total with shipping, let's see, it was $35.95. Shipping was $5.50. I had to pay New York's uh, sales tax. And the total was $44.33. So this is not a paid review. All right, so there's a website you can get seeds for only a dollar. Now, they're um, all actually non-GMO, and uh, they're actually organic seeds, a dollar a packet. I mean, this is awesome. Look at all the stuff he has. Now, uh, let's see. He has flower garden seeds, garden seed kits, herb garden seeds, organic sprouting seeds, vegetable garden seeds, and view other items. So there's loads of things. Go on dollarseed.com. We're going to unbox this item right now. Check it out. Now, I uh, did some videos in the past um, showing you this uh, particular seller, and people wrote really disgusting comments under my review. Yeah, so some people wrote some really nasty comments under my last review for them. I just want to do an unboxing to show you what you get when you order from them. And uh, people were really pissed off because it took them sometimes two weeks to get their seeds. Well, I will tell you, I live in New York. The seller, I think, is from New York. Yeah, New York. I got my seeds within like three days of ordering them. Now, uh, the people that complained, complained because sometimes it's not this guy's fault. It's the USPS or the post office fault. His fault. He ships the seeds out, I believe, first class. You have a choice, I believe, to upgrade shipping. And it's on you. If you don't want to pay extra for a priority mail, it may take up to 12 to 14 days for first class delivery to arrive to your location. So the reason why I buy from this seller is because the price is number one. A dollar for a packet of seeds. Where are you going to find that cheaper? What, Walmart clearance rack? Uh, so, you know, the people, all the people that are like, oh, he's a terrible businessman. It's because you, you know, you don't want to pay more for shipping. First class, you know, first class could take two weeks. Sometimes I've had things shipped uh, first class to me, um, like two or three states over. That took as much as three weeks to get. It depends on the post office. Um. And where you're located. Um, now, this guy is a actual veteran. And I, that's the second reason why I like to order from him. I like to support our troops. And if I'm supporting the troops, it makes me feel good. And uh, so this guy is an American patriot. Okay. Um, oh, wow. All right. Look at this. All right, I'm going to get rid of the bills so you guys don't see my address. You crazy crack maniacs out there. Here we go. I don't want any hate mail. I don't need it. But, um, all right, so let's see. He packs uh, very well. And uh, so if you're going to come on my channel and write a nasty remark about this man, I'm going to delete your ass, all right? So just know that right now. You're going to write something nasty about an American veteran who's trying to earn an income, you know, selling seeds for only a dollar a packet. You're going to get deleted. All right, so he uh, actually he gives you a magnet. That's actually really nice. All right, let's check it out. Look at this. This too. He gives you a pen. I can actually use this pen. Really nice. Dollarseed.com. That's a really, really nice pen. Look at that. Okay. And it's not about the pen. It's the quality of his products. Uh, and he sends really good products. All right. So we got some kind of, I don't know what this is. My husband placed the order. I gave him the website, told him to order seeds. I let him choose this year what he wants me to grow for him. He does not have a green thumb. I do not know what this is. It says cutting board butter. Bring new life back to your wood boards. Food safe. Oh, wow. This is actually really cool. I didn't know my husband hoarded this. We do have a big wood cutting board. Oh, that's actually really nice. That's actually really, really nice. All right. So, uh, yeah. All right. So here's all the packets of $1 for seeds. And if you're going to complain about that, then you're a real a-hole. Sorry, but that's my opinion. All right, that's nice. Okay, what's this? This is spinach, New Zealand. You get 17 seeds for a dollar. He gives you the year of packaging. Really, really cool. These, again, are non-GMO organic seeds. And what more could you uh, want? We got oak leaf lettuce. Here we go. That's one dollar. I mean, that's a really good buy. Here we go. We got tomatoes, San Marzano, plum tomatoes. We're going to grow that. And uh, there you go. Uh, we got Roma tomatoes. We're going to make some sauce. And there you go. That's uh, $1 worth of seeds. Pretty reasonable 
<laughs> I, I, I find that pretty reasonable. Some sellers on Amazon too, who are selling their non-GMO, um, non-GMO organic seeds or heirloom seeds are selling them for six, seven, eight, nine dollars a packet. We got spinach again. There we go. These look like nice, healthy seeds. We got more tomatoes. We got Ace 55, which are great for growing in containers. I grow them every year. They don't get too big. So, but they give you nice, plump, vine-ripe tomatoes. Again, $1. Ace 55 is a great tomato for New York, especially the Long Island area. It does well. We got tomato beefsteak. Never grown these before, but I have a feeling that we'll do good growing them. And I grow a lot of my tomatoes in pots, large pots in the yard. We got sage, broad-leaved. And wow, you get a lot of sage seeds for $1. Okay, we got Radicchio. Uh, Pella Rosa, 110 seeds approximately. And uh, that's actually, that's great. Another $1 packet of seeds. We got peppermint. Peppermint's always teeny tiny. And uh, yeah, it's very hard. You have to get a special seed spoon to scoop these out because they're so little. You get about 100 seeds. And he always, he's generous. He'll even give you more than 100 seeds generally. I noticed. Yes, I have counted before. Hungarian sweet peppers. You get 55 seeds. Those are really nice looking seeds. We have habanero, Caribbean, 55 seeds. There you go. And yeah, this video is going to be long. Parsley Italian flat leaf. You get 165 seeds. Now that looks like more than 165 seeds to me. So, so far this guy is doing great. Uh, dollar seed or oregano. 250 seeds and they're always teeny. Teeny, teeny, tiny little seeds. Uh, very big pain in the ass to get them out of the packet, but it's worth it when you grow them. We got onion, SP white bunching, 110 seeds approximately. Okay, that looks like it's more than 110 seeds to me. Again, this guy always gives you extra. Lettuce, Tom Thumb, 275 seeds. Tom Thumb is a great buttery lettuce that I grow here on Long Island. We got more Tom Thumbs. Uh, again, you're getting, you're getting a lot of seeds for a dollar. Here we go. We got lettuce, Tom Thumb again. My husband really wanted the Tom Thumb this year. We got gourmet lettuce. They come, it's like different colors, red, greens, um, almost like a purple scarlet color. Really, this one grows really well in pots here on Long Island on the patio. And we have a uh, curled cress. You get 110 seeds. Now I can assure you there's probably way more than 110 seeds here. Again, David Moffitt from Dollar Seed really did a good job. Cucumber straight eight, 33 seeds. Really nice looking seeds, healthy. We got Brussels sprouts, which I don't eat, but, but my husband does. 110 seeds. And uh, yeah, he, you get quite a bit. We got golden wax bush beans. I like to grow bush beans as opposed to pole beans. Because then you don't have to get trellises, which is a real big pain in the ass. 16 seeds. Sometimes I actually harvest my own seeds from them, but this year, last year I was lazy. Uh, Gold Rush, you get 20. Nice looking seeds. Gold Rush makes a great, great tasty bean. Those uh, waxy type of yellowy colored type of beans are really good. Now, uh, we got Blue Lake Bush. Now, usually I grow, I forgot the type. That There's two uh, green bush beans that I grow. I forgot the two names. They do really well here on Long Island. But we decided to try the blue, the blue lake bush this year. 16 seeds. We got basil, basil, as the Italians in Brooklyn say. Uh, right here, wow, yeah, you get quite a bit of basil seeds. How many? It says 100, I believe. Yes. And I told him to also get uh, two of these. And so he did. Because you can never have enough basil. Because the basil makes the sauce taste great. And uh, salads, too. He wanted arugula, so we got slow-bolting arugula. Now, it's a problem with arugula. I've grown it here on Long Island. If you don't put it in a shady spot, uh, it will actually flower quickly. But this one is going to be a slow-bolting version, so it shouldn't flower quickly. And I will grow it in a shady area under a tree. They do better. We got more arugula. I don't think you need to see it more. And again... You can see it gives you quite a bit of seeds. Last but not least, we got alfalfa sprouting seeds, 300 of them for $1. So, okay, 
My review, again, another five-star review for Dollar Seed. All this was, what was it, 30-something dollars you saw. Well, shipping was another $5, but that's to be expected. Now, if you're going to come on my channel and you're going to knock David Moffat or Dollar Seed, you can go scratch your ass because your uh, comment will be deleted. He does have great customer service. A lot of you people complain that you don't get your seeds quick enough. But the only thing you can blame is yourself for not paying extra for priority mail and the fact that the USPS, yes, I'll get the thing, USPS is a bit of a asshole because they're really slow as shit. It's like getting mail from a slow boat from China. And it could take, don't get mad if you order your seeds and think they're going to come tomorrow. If you use first class mail, it could take three to four weeks to get your seeds. Not David Moffat or Dollar Seeds fault. All right, guys, thanks for watching another one of my reviews. We'll see you guys all soon. Dollar Seed is great, non-GMO, um, mostly heirloom and organic. All, all of them are organic and non-GMO seeds. You get the little magnet and the pen. Highly recommended.